Hey, this is Jerry Visca, the publisher of Definers, and welcome to the Visionaries issue that is kicking off the 2017 New Year. And man, are we excited because today we are live with Connie DeLeo of the GTA Career Coach and Fitness Consultant. I am super excited about today's live interview. Welcome, Connie. Thank you, Jerry. What a pleasure it is to be here this morning with you. Thank you, Connie. You know, Connie, I'm really excited about this this live interview. I'm excited about your profile and and all the great work that you're doing. And I just, you know, love this whole wellness sphere. And and you know, before we get into the first question, there's a quote that you share in your profile. And I want I want re- listeners to to hear this. It goes like this: In my role as coach, trainer, and educator, my vision is all about infusing mind, body, spirit, and empowering one individual at a time. I just love that. So, you know, share with us, Connie, why does the world need visionaries now more than ever? Visionaries today have powerful means to share experiences and based, mostly based on the um, areas of work that we have expertise in. And specifically when you're having um, opportunities to be qualified to teach uh, various areas such as um, education in fitness, teaching the physical aspect, teaching the mental and the spiritual piece as more definition to increase or enhance individuals' well-being. So they leave feeling not only empowered physically, but they also have the opportunity to go home with extra uh, insights to help them pro- be provided with tools that gives them more insights that would uh, definitely um, make them feel that they have received more than than just the physical piece that uh, they came in for. So, for example, if they're coming in for a fitness activity, we always add the education component, which enhances the individual's piece to, to be able to um, feel that they have... Um, more more to work with throughout their day. I love that. I love that. I, I, what I really admire about your work, Connie, I love that you're getting into the physical, the emotional, the spiritual, you know, all all those sides, you know, you know, the, you know, the mental. I, I just think that that's what's making a lot of your work sustainable overall. So, you know, there's, there's another area here that you focus on. It's a quote that I really love, and it goes like this. It's proven that guidance leads to sustainable results. So, you know, share with me a little bit about how you're, you know, you're being that guide, uh, you know, to, to really help people achieve those sustainable results. Tell us about that. Yes. So when we organize clinics that pertain to an interest to individuals, for example, it's Heart Month. We offer clinics on heart health. Individuals come to these clinics and they're provided with information that will help them increase their knowledge base as to the value and importance to, to. Um, to be able to sustain their training and to have understanding better of what their training methods will uh, be, in, what, what methods are involved for their training methods, and then when they feel that they have more information, then they leave the clinic with insight that helps them to uh, better their their training or better their uh, understanding as to um, increase their their physical um, training or also to be feeling healthier when they're being mindful about what they're eating and what type of lifestyle that they're leading. That's amazing. I love that. I love that, you know, heart health. And let's just stay in that for a minute. Connie, when people are coming to you, and what do you find as they come in, what their greater challenges are? Is it understanding, you know, their physical body, you know, the diet? What, What do you find is the greatest challenge? Mostly the greatest challenge is for individuals to have to take time to uh, to clarify what it is that they're they're being challenged by so when they're uh, at the stage where they're stuck and they are up against the wall um, they come to a to a um, an event or um, a, a clinic or as such and then they're they're in that mindset where they're able to have uh, clear understanding and receive information and being able to process it and then take home tools that uh, that will help them make changes or take the steps to make changes uh with with uh with whatever challenges that they may be maybe um going through yeah 
I love it. I love it. Connie, you know, you're living your passion, you know, through your role as, as coach, trainer, and educator. And, you know, I think that's that's a beautiful, all-encompassing vision. So, you know, I want listeners to get a sense of how your vision, you know, what that looks like and how is it contributing to, you know, the growth of of, of people just worldwide. You know, how how can that vision continue to help people? Passion is one where if once we have that instilled in us, we know that it's going to carry us through through the, the ups and downs that we experience in our in our journey. So when we are in the process of being able to share opportunities for individuals, for example, if they want, wish to have a career in giving back to um, to our society, we educate these uh, these individuals and give them tools that will help them enhance others that want to be as as amazing or as inspired as the person who's providing the information. That's amazing. That's fantastic, Connie. You know, Connie, one of your favorite lines here in your profile, I just I, I just love it. it, and it goes like this. A workout is a personal triumph over laziness and procrastination. It is the badge of a winner, the mark of an organized, goal-oriented person who has taken charge of his or her destiny. I mean, just saying that makes me feel triumphant. You know, how does that make you feel listening to that? That carries me, that quote is my most favorite and has carried me through my years of of being a coach in the fitness industry, and mm. uh, and and I certainly share that. I also share that as part of my uh, inspirations of quote quotations through through my career. Uh, I find that uh, individuals do seek more insight. That work working out is not just a physical piece, but there is more involved. Where we receive by far um, depth and and triumph in feeling great about ourselves we feel great mentally we feel great physically emotionally and then we take on the world more so with uh, empowerment and that's what we want to share it with others that it's not just a physical piece that we have to do do we have to do physical activity or exercise is um, important no we know all that we know now that by by doing so and having a goal each and every day to um, to instill physical activity, it's much more involved and and more and, and we receive more out of it than we than than being uh, a person who's just doing exercise. We get this triumph that gives us more power, more more invigoration that will help us throughout the day. I love it. That's what I love about your work, Connie. There's a real depth to your work, and it's it's another reason why I was so honored to shine a light on you specifically in this visionaries issue. You know, this we, we speak of, uh, you know, what I define as this new ROI for the world where we all reach out and inspire others to become the best versions of themselves. And I and I believe through your, you know, through your depth of your work that, you know, you're really able to achieve that. So I really admire you for that. Thank you. I want to, I, there's another quote that you share, and I, and I love how you tie this into kind of what you see the world going through right now. And, and you, you quote here, in Canada, one in five Canadians you know, experience functional mental health challenges which shape our behavior at home and work. And I just love that. So I want to tie into that into, into the next question. What's the difference, the bigger difference you wish to make? So the, the bigger difference is that when we, when we share what, we've, what we have as, as expertise in our, in our work of, uh, of health and fitness, we we often know that uh, for the most part not all of us are ready to receive information that will will make change or will make a difference in their world so we have to genuinely appreciate that individual where they're at today and so when we share information we would like to put it out there and know that that what whatever we have is going to be offered at any time and can be offered to the person or to uh, to the to the general public um so that uh that one day if that person finds that this is going to work with for them it, it'll resonate the, this these types of learnings in life will resonate at one point or another and we often find that um it is a, it is an understanding that one in five Canadians who face mental challenges is has has um has a lot to do with what where they're at. So when we offer information, it can be an, a piece that will be 
um, a success to them, or it can be something that perhaps later on in life will um, will be something that they will reflect on and and use that tool to perhaps make that change later on in their lives. So depending on where people are uh, in their lives and what challenges they face, oftentimes they don't know uh, where they're at at that point in their in their in in whatever challenges that they may face. But once they recognize it and and health and fitness is is there for them, then that's where uh, the uh, ROI will become the most effective. I love it. I absolutely love it, Connie. Just listening to you, you know, it, it's very it, it's a very rewarding feeling. I can imagine for you seeing the change that you're helping create in people and and seeing it ripple out, you know, probably into their families as well. And but I like how you approach in the individual. It's it's depending where they're at. I like that you recognize that not everyone is at the same level and you know you're you're really helping create this greater awareness. So there's another quote that you share here and it goes like this. Most often we are driven to make change happen through adversity or life altering experiences. Tell me a bit about that, Connie. So this is actually a nice tie-in from our previous question with uh, with respect to where we're at in life and how we receive um, learnings that uh, may or may not be reflective to individuals. So in it, with adversities, there are times where there are situations that, um, for example, I will even offer my own personal one that uh, we had just this year alone. My husband was uh, diagnosed with stage 4 advanced cancer. And um, mm-hmm. and in finding that that experience, I have found a deeper, more connect strength in myself to to reach uh, uh, my um, my own personal um, learnings and uh, delve into how um, how we need to embrace the learnings that we share with others. That and and so here came an adversity on my own personal behalf. And that has allowed me to embrace what I've been teaching all along, and that is to to uh, believe and have faith and be strong in 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 where we're at today, so that we can sustain the the what we need to endure on a day to day basis. Um, so that's yes. just one example, but overall, mm-hmm. we find that individuals who do know. Um, what is out there because there's so much knowledge out there, they will be able to connect with the person that is going to, or not necessarily the person or the business or the opportunity that is available out there, they will reach out. If they're not ready, then they'll, um, they'll, may, they'll may have to uh, set it aside until there comes a time when uh, a situation will alter that thought, and then they will reach out and be able to find that uh, some tools that were was made available to them all along will mm-hmm. at this point make a difference and be used to uh, to help them sustain them through what they need to uh, to do to get through this. It's amazing. It's amazing. You know, uh, I'm honored, Connie, that you share your your story, your personal journey, and. You know, my my prayers are with you. At, you know, as you share about your your husband with stage four, and I, you know, the, I, I hate that you've had to experience that. And you know, seeing my my own journey with my daughter going through uh, through stage three, I you know, I, I really admire uh, coaches and and trainers like yourself that are out there to really help us all deal with these adversities and these life altering experiences. So thank you for sharing that. Before we get into the last question, Connie, you know, we have a lot of listeners and a lot of viewers that are outside of Canada. And you're, I just want to uh, share with listeners how they can access you in terms of physically coming to see you. I know you're, so you're in the, in the GTA and for, for a lot of our outside of uh, Ontario, uh, you know, listeners, that's, that's the greater Toronto area. You kind of sp- talk a bit about where you're kind of located and how people can, can come and be a part of your work. Absolutely. Thank you for that. I actually um, I'm situated in the GTA, GTA area, more specifically in the uh, Toronto Brampton region, Brampton, mm-hmm. Ontario, and uh, we offer and host uh, career coaching classes in the fitness uh, for those who wish to have um, certifications and teach others the the 
um, the specialties in personal training, uh, pre- and postnatal, fitness instructor. Those are courses that we provide in the areas of Brampton specifically and to reach uh, Connie directly with respect to coaching and offering clinics and um, off-site uh, programs that will help with um, offering insight in uh, meditation, yoga. Um, we offer those uh, var- variations of packages and uh, for those who wish to um, seek more information to please contact my uh, my number at 416-580-7175 or my email at wellnesssphere at gmail.com. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. So, Connie, as we get into the last question, I, I really love the work that you're doing and I love the passion and you know love the focus on, on just the overall holistic side of everything you're doing you know, my last question for you would be, with all this great work that you're doing and the vision that you have going forward, what do you want to be remembered for, for creating? For the most part, Jerry, I would always like the idea that Connie has always been remembered for giving the insight of of being the inside of giving the tools for what are people's gifts, what are they, and if people have that to go home with and they've, they've left Connie's clinics or Connie's sessions uh, with that, then I feel that I've, I've uh, made a, a difference in the world. I love it. I absolutely love it. I call this profile Vision to Contribute, Connie DeLeo, GTA Career Coach and Fitness Consultant, an explosive issue, an explosive profile on the Visionaries issue. And as we kick off the 2017 New Year, we're just so honored, Connie, that you are one of our profile visionaries. And on behalf of definers and everyday people doing extraordinary things, I want to thank you for contributing your amazing vision to this issue. Thank you so much. <laughs> 